Hello, welcome to Vadial Vagaparai. In this video, we are going to see stereochemical non equivalence in NMR spectroscopy. Uh, this uh, video is based on a PGTRB question of 2019. So, the question is predict the number of NMR six signals in 1 2 dichloropropane. So, we know 1 2 dichloropropane is uh, this. And then uh, immediately, the tendency of students is to see that uh, there are three uh, different types of protons, and so the signals will be three. But the answer is four. So we are going. To, I'll show you the spectrum also. The spectrum has shows four signals, and the four signals are all multiplets. Okay, a doublet, uh, a multiplet, a multiplet, a multiplet. So there are four signals to this particular molecule. So how or which are the protons which are contributing to the signal, and why there is four signals for this particular molecule? That is what we are going to see. So. This is actually a connection between stereochemistry and the types of protons in NMR spectrum. So there are different types of protons. Some of the protons are called as homotopic protons. Some of them are called as enantiotopic protons. And some of them are called as diostereotopic protons. So let's see one at a time uh, what they mean and how to identify them in a molecule. Let us see homotopic hydrogen protons in NMR spectrum. So two hydrogens are homotopic if replacing either one in turn by another group gives two identical molecules. So homotopic protons are indistinguishable from each other. Let's see this example. In this example, the HA and HB are the methylene protons. And these methylene protons, if they are replaced by some other group, let us say D, if A is replaced by D, you get this molecule. If B is replaced by D, we will get this molecule. So replacement of one of the proton by another molecule does not give a new molecule. In other words, both of them are going to give a same kind of a spectrum. And that is the reason why these two protons are said to be equivalent protons or they are also called as homotopic protons. So in NMR spectrum, you will get only one signal due to the two protons. So they are not going to give you different signals. So now let's take up enantiotropic pro uh, protons. In case of enantiotropic protons, uh, they these are two hydrogens in an achiral or meso compound. So you know in a meso compound, there could be stereocenter that are equivalent because of the mirror plane. They are enantiotropic if replacing one of them with a different group leads to a chiral molecule. Let us take, for example, this particular molecule. This is actually bromoethane. So in bromoethane, there is a methylene group. So let us assign A and B to these protons. So if B is replaced by Z, you get this molecule. If A is replaced by Z, you get this molecule. So replacement of any one of these protons by another substituent leads to a chiral molecule. So this molecule is chiral because it is having four different groups attached to it. So because it is a chiral molecule, it the other molecule that is formed by replacement of Z will be its mirror image because the, you know one stereocenter means only two isomers are possible and two isomers are nothing but the molecule and its mirror image. And if the mirror images are non-superimposable, they are called as enantiomers. So if you have a molecule which has a methylene proton and replacement of hydrogens of the methylene proton with some other groups leads to a chiral center and this chiral center is actually an enantiomeric center, then this molecule which had, which is original molecule which we have is called as a enantiotopic proton. This molecule is also called as prochiral molecule. So in stereochemistry, these are called as prochiral molecules. So the meaning of a prochiral carbon is a carbon which can become chiral when it when substitution happens at that particular center. So what would happen to the spectrum of such a kind of a proton? But then these two protons are having similar groups around them. If you check though they are stereoisomers, they are enantiomers, but the groups around them are similar. So the spectrum of this proton will be the same. That is the spectrum of HA and HB proton will be the same. So that is why these 
two protons, HA and HB, when present as a methylene group, are not going to give you two distinctly different signals. So, they are equivalent. So, enantiotropic protons are equivalent protons. But then, because they have the possibility to become chiral, if we use chiral reagents, we can differentiate between the two protons. Otherwise, an NMR spectrum in the presence of an achiral media will not distinguish these two protons. In other words, this methylene protons will give only one signal. So, enantiotopic hydrogens in the presence of an achiral media will give only one signal or both the protons are equivalent protons. So, now let us go to diastereotopic hydrogens and their NMR spectrum. So, if the replacement of two identical hydrogens attached to a non-stereogenic center gives different stereoisomers, the atoms or groups are diastereotopic. So, now how this is different from the one which we saw earlier. So, in the earlier case also, we saw a methylene group and this methylene group is becoming chiral because if one of the group is replaced by some other group. So, here also we see this, uh, the one which I am highlighting here, HA and HB are the methylene groups and this methylene group has two hydrogen atoms. If HA is replaced by Z, you have a chiral center. Similarly, if HB is replaced by Z, you have this as a chiral center because there are four different groups attached to this carbon. But in this particular case, let us look at this carbon atom, the carbon where the pointer is shown, wherein there is a chlorine atom. So, this carbon by itself is a chiral center. So, this is a chiral carbon. So, in the molecule itself, there is a chiral carbon and then the methylene group is next to the chiral carbon. So, all of us must remember, in case of a diastereotopic hydrogen, the methylene group is next to a chiral center. A diastereotopic hydrogen is one which is non-equivalent and so they will give different signals in an NMR spectrum and not only that, if they are close to the stereogenic center, they will be a very separated signal. So, in this case, it is, uh, it is a neighboring carbon, right? So, definitely this particular set of protons A and B will show different signals because they are going to give different chemical shift values. So, the difference in chemical shift usually dis decreases with distance from the chiral center. So, this is a point to remember and can even become zero, but they are never equivalent. So, diastereotopic protons can merge, that is the signals of the diastereotopic protons can merge, but they are not equivalent. So, only homotopic and enantiotopic protons are equivalent. And because they have different chemical shift values, definitely spin-spin coupling is possible. So, we will see how this is happening in a spectrum and how we can identify the spectrum. So, when we are understanding diastereotopic hydrogens, first point to remember is this methylene group is next to a chiral center and so any change in one of the proton results in the pair of diastereomers. Thirdly, these two protons will show different signals. Because they are different, the splitting, spin-spin splitting could be seen for these protons. So, these are important things that we must remember for diastereotopic protons. Now, let us go back to our 1, 2 dichloropropane. So, now in this case, we see this particular carbon, that is the second carbon, in uh, the propane, dichloropropane is a chiral carbon. So, this carbon is chiral. So, this is a chiral center. So, this because it is a chiral center, the two protons HA and HB are definitely diastereotopic protons. So, because it is next to a chiral center. So, when we replace HA with Z, 
we get one new stereo center here. So besides this stereo center, we are having a new stereo center here. So all similarly, when we replace HB with Z, again a new stereo center is formed. So the replacement of Z by HA and HB results in two different stereo isomers. And these two different stereo isomers are not mirror image isomers. Suppose if you are wondering, how am I saying it is not mirror image isomer? So because it is not mirror image isomer, they have the name diastereomers. So if you are wondering, how is it they are diastereomers? Why are they not enantiomers? I will explain uh, in a minute. So the protons which are contributing to the structure, they are called as diastereotopic protons. So the two protons are called as diastereotopic protons because they form a pair of diastereomers. Now let us uh, see this Fisher notation of 1 comma 2 dichloropropane. So in 1 comma 2 dichloropropane, the HA is replaced by Z and HB is replaced by Z in the next molecule. So there are two possibilities I have shown and in both the cases you see if I draw a mirror plane in between, let me put a straight line. If I draw a mirror in between, we can see the two molecules are not, mirror, the, two, the two structures are not mirror images. So they are different. They are two different stereoisomers and they have uh, two chiral centers. That is the reason why they are called as diastereomers. Okay, they are diastereomers. Now the question is, why is it I am getting four signal? Why, why not only three? How is this four signal being formed? So for that, let's take the example of uh, a Newman projection of the same molecule. So when we take the Newman projection, the one which is in front is the um, uh, second carbon and the one at the back is the first carbon. So I have written this behind and this in front. So we see here the HA and HB have a different neighboring environment. So HA has fluorine and methyl as the neighbors and HB has hydrogen and methyl as neighbors. So in this structure, if you see HA's neighbor is chlorine and here HB's neighbor is hydrogen. See this chlorine is on this carbon. So both of them share this chlorine. So this is not the influencer. The influencer is the neighboring group. So the neighboring chlorine is nearer or closer to HA and hydrogen is nearer or closer to HB. So definitely both of them will give two different signals. Now let us see the spec question and the spectrum. So now we know the question as per the question this particular molecule shows four signals and we see here the spectrum shows four signals. Now let us connect these four signals or assign the signals to the structure. So this is the structure and we had suggested there are four signals. So this is one due to the methyl group, the second one due to the methane group okay, and then the third one due to the HA and the fourth one due to HB. So four signals are seen in this particular spectrum. So the answer is four. That, that was the question that was asked in the examination. Now we will go a step further and assign these protons to the spectrum that is given here. So we all know the methylene group, sorry, the methyl group will appear between 1 and 2 and then the neighbor is uh, a hydrogen. So the methyl protons will be split up into a doublet. So this particular signal which is a doublet is due to the methyl group that is CH3 group. Then let us see this particular signal that is the fourth or the last signal. This fourth or the last signal if you see ha is due to this second proton that is methane proton. So the methane proton has a methyl group on one side and two protons on this side. So 3 plus 2, 5, 5 plus 1, 6. That is why 
it is a multiplet and if you count the signals you will get six okay so this is the fourth so you'll be wondering they are different but how is it they are considered equivalent here but then you can say it can be a multiplet if they are going to split the signal even more so this proton could be split into a triplet and then um, uh, you know and each of them are going to have a similar value and that is why this is contributed as a um, multiplet in this particular case now coming to the third and the fourth signal so the third signal as i told you in the previous spectrum in, uh, sorry in the previous uh, newman projection ha has flown in as the neighbor so definitely it will be more deshielded than hb which has hydrogen as the neighbor so this particular signal will be due to ha and this signal will be due to hb and now the question is you will see four lines in this particular signal so ha will split the methane into a doublet and then it will be split by its own neighbor its own counterpart and so the signals will be a doublet of a doublet that is spin spin splitting can be seen and so that is why you see here all the lines are not following the pascal's uh, triangle intensity like the fourth signal where rather here we see a different levels of intensity of the signal because the signal is actually a doublet of a doublet so this proton is split by the neighboring proton into a doublet and this doublet is split by its own proton into another doublet so that is why you get a doublet of a doublet the same thing can be seen for the hb proton but then you see they appear closer to each other because they are from the same carbon atom but then ha is uh, deshielded because of the electronegative fluorine atom which is closer in in proximity when compared to hb so that is how the nmr signal of 12 dichloropropane can be explained so it has four signals and the four signals are due to the methyl proton the methane proton and the methylene protons on the first carbon atom are not equivalent they are diastereotopic protons and as a result they give two different signals thank you